What's going on guys? So today I'm going to speak to you about how expensive medical school is and specifically I'm going to do it with reference to a paper that has been published by the AAMC uh, so you know that the stuff I'm going to share with you is obviously credible. You can see already that there are some hints here. Uh, it's above or close to 200,000 but I'm also going to break this down based on public medical schools and private medical schools because sometimes um, public medical schools may be cheaper, and other times they may not be. There's a lot of nuances here. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into it. If you yourself want to see a lot of the stuff I'm going to talk about, it's going to be linked in the description below, but you don't have to. I know a lot of the stuff I'm going to show you today can be really intimidating and it scares me all the time. I'm going to show you the bare bones basics of what you need to know. So here's the first slide I want to start with. One thing you need to know is that there's a lot of medical schools across the United States some of them are public, which means that they get funding from the state government, and some of them are private, which means that they do not. You can see that there's about 85 public universities and 57 private universities as of 2019, which is about 60% of medical schools in the United States are public, and about 40% are not, with some minor variation from year to year. Another thing I wanted to point out is on each of these slides, there's going to be text on the left here, and there's also going to be a really intimidating graph. If either of those freak you out, don't worry. Just like focus on what I'm saying, and hopefully it will make the graphs a little bit easier to understand. If we now break this down further by private and public schools and look at the debt that they have, you can see that, again, about 61% of schools are, are public and 39% are private. That's what this percentage is referring to. But now you can see that about 73% of graduates of, from both of the schools are graduating with debt. And on average, or not on average, the median, which is like the 50th percentile, is about $200,000 of debt. But now let's break this up into public medical schools and private medical schools. You can see that in public medical schools, about 74% of graduates are graduating with debt. But on average, or on median, that debt is about $200,000. On the other hand, Fewer people, only 71% of individuals from private schools are graduating with debt, but that debt on average is higher, 215000 right? So what we're showing here is that there is debt in both public and private institutions in the United States. If you're, you're more likely to graduate with debt from a public institution, but uh, if you do, that debt will likely be lower than in private institutions. Another thing I want to show you is that the debt levels have actually increased much faster in public schools than in private schools. And this is interesting, right? Because if you look at even just like 2015, the debt in private schools was about 200000 and the debt in public schools was about 180000 And between those years, the debt in public schools has gone up by about $20,000, while the debt in private schools has only gone up about $15,000. Um, all that to say, debt levels seem to be increasing a little bit more significantly in public schools than in private schools. Next up, again, a little bit more intimidating graph, but we're going to break it down, okay? So right now, the blue here is the median four-year cost of attendance uh, in 2019 dollars. You don't have to worry about why they did it in 2019 dollars. The point is that money often changes value over time. So you always want to talk about money with reference to a single year. And so in this case, all of the dollar amounts are in 2019 dollars. And what you can see is that the cost of attendance, which is the to like if you were to go to med school and pay four years of medical school, including rent, books, everything, you can actually see that that cost has been increasing and it's about $272,000 as of 2019. This increasing rate is at an average of about 2.3% per year. So what this is saying is whatever you're paying this year, next year you can expect to pay 2.3% more on average uh, for a cost of attendance. And this is a little bit higher than inflation. Um, again, you don't need to know what inflation is. But just know that you know the United States and any country is always printing more money all the time. So the value of a dollar today is less than a value um, of a dollar tomorrow. Or no, it's more than the value of a dollar tomorrow. And so because of that, you have to account for inflation. The other thing I also want to show you is that blue is the cost of attendance, but green is actually the median amount of debt, right? So the difference between the two is almost the amount that you're paying or that you have a scholarship for, right? Because if something costs you $272,000 and you only have a debt aka you borrowed from either a bank or a government, whatever it is you borrowed from, this is your debt. 
So the amount that's in the middle here is amount that you've either paid back or um, you got a scholarship or someone has paid that amount of money. But again, notice that the amount of debt has actually remained relatively constant compared to the amount uh, of attendance that has seems to be increasing over the last four years, right? So cost of attendance increased to about 300000 but overall debt has remained at about $200,000 for all four years. Now, the other thing that I also want to show you is that as I said, this shows you that big number. How much does it cost to go to medical school in the United States? About $200,000. For four years, on, on, a, on a median basis, 50th percentile is 200000 That means 50% of people may graduate with more debt than that. 50% may graduate with less debt than that. But point being, 200000 is actually a good guesstimate number for where you get those numbers. Okay, so now what we're going to do is notice that this, on average, is the median four-year cost of attendance and debt for all medical schools. But what happens if you now break this up into private schools and public schools? How does that look? Well, let me show you right here. If you break this up into private schools and public schools, you can actually see that this dashed blue line up here, that is the median four-year cost, uh, cost of attendance for private medical schools. Private medical schools cost way more to attend than do public medical schools, which is uh, the green right here. And this kind of makes sense, right? Because public medical schools get a certain amount of money from the state to help with funding. So private medical schools cost more. But also notice that the debt for private medical schools is in blue. And that dark line of blue shows that the gap between um, the cost of attendance and the debt is much higher than the cost of attendance and debt for public schools. So the point of this is that private schools must be given either more scholarships or somehow funding people because even though the cost of admission, a cost of attendance is way higher, the overall debt that these individuals are graduating with is significantly lower compared to public schools, which, you know, the cost of uh, attendance is about $250,000, but the debt is still $200,000. And you can see here that this is kind of showing you why. Uh, public schools cost less than private schools, as seen by the dash blue and the dash green. Dash blue is private, dash green is public, so private costs more than public. Um, and again, this uh, while private schools typically have greater resources for grants and scholarships, and that is what leads to the larger gap because even though this costs more to attend, they can give you more grants and scholarships to allow you to graduate with a little bit uh, significantly less um, debt than this cost of admission compared to the public school. Right? So hopefully this makes a bit more sense to you, but again, 200000 is still seems to be the gold number between private and public schools. I want to now end with a little bit more of an optimistic note. $200,000 is obviously a lot of money, but I do want to point out that the percent of graduates who have debt uh, has been declining in recent years from uh, medical school. So people who have been graduating with debt, now about, you can see here, about 73% of individuals graduating from medical school have any sort of debt, right? And that's down from 86% in 2010. You know, about 31% of people who graduated from medical school in 2019 had pre-med debt and 70% had med school debt and about 73% had some sort of debt. And in general, this number has been going down and fingers crossed, hopefully it continues to go down uh, for both me and uh, the rest of my colleagues who may be joining me in the medical field. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, got some more insights into the private-public dichotomy and ultimately how much it costs to an attend medical school. If you like this video, please drop a like, uh, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.